What's up guys? So today we did release an update, just a small one, but hopefully you know there's a couple, you know, a couple fixes, a couple improvements. And we do have an event going on. Let's talk about that first. We do have a group loot chest event going on. So there are three things that pertain to that event. Ixthrin Scepter, the best scepter um, in the game and the best item you can get from those chests, is now twice as common, double the drop rate. Now when I say that, that's like going from 1 in 1,000 to 1 in 500. That's not the exact number, I'm just using those numbers for <laughs> to, to keep things simple. So it's still pretty rare, but it, it is twice as common, so good luck if anybody's going for that. Five times adventure points, I believe you normally get 100, now you get 500, and then it is now 50% off in the Pest Control Reward Shop. So I think every time we do one of these, I'll probably rotate uh, what the, the last one is, so like sometimes it'll be uh, Corporal Beast will drop, will have a better drop rate, or sometimes the cow will have a better drop rate, sometimes maybe Kodak has a faster respawn time, or something like that, you know what I mean? We'll always kind of change it up a little bit, and this time it's probably, you know, not, I don't imagine too many people are going to do pest control, but, you know, if you do, there you go. Also, I just wanted to remind you that you can exchange Void Knight pieces with this NPC right here. You can get half of the points back. So now on to some of the fixes. Mini bears should no longer be aggressive. It's kind of jarring when you first start the game, you're level 3, and you teleport to train, and then everything starts attacking you. That was uh, pretty dumb, so that's been fixed. I also adjusted the drops, which uh, I guess we have that right here. Um, so I kind of added a couple things. Climbing boots with a very rare drop of combat brace, which is kind of some better things, a little more interesting. I removed all of the junk herb drops that no one looted because it just clogged up the floors. Uh, so hopefully that's a lot better. Uh, I also added another old elven gold drop, and then I um, made the chance of elven gold a little bit better. I also upped the elven gold you get from Goliath spiders. I believe it didn't drop any. Uh, it had a chance of dropping some, but but that everybody in the area has a chance of dropping some. But now it has actual elven gold on its table, so should be some even more gold from there. The training shop has been changed, so you can now see the starter gear is now sold in here. It is no longer in the adventure point shop, and we'll talk about the adventure point shop in a second. Uh, some items have had their prices changed, uh, a little bit more balanced, uh, you know, a, a little more realistic. Like, I think the tuna potato is the same price as the crystal key, which is... I don't know if anyone would ever buy the tuna potato in the first place, but it's just kind of there as, like, a thing that's an option, so... I uh, just kind of wanted to fill it out. Same with the cash cats. It's just, uh, you know, I'm not sure too sure how many people would ever want to buy those. But, you know, just giving people options. On to the Adventure Point shop. We now have six new items. Half keys, mystery box, barrels crate, ancient warrior's equipment crate. And you can now also buy an elite mystery box. So there are some pretty decent items here. A lot of people had a bunch of points saved up. You do get a bunch of adventure points every day for logging in. It's even more um, the higher your donator level is. Um, okay, I'll, uh, at some point, I'll put out the chart. That would probably help people put out the chart on Discord if I'm, I haven't already. Actually, you know, when I first released I think when I first released that update, that, that update has the chart. I'll just copy and paste that on the the discord so it's more well known but yeah you do get adventure points every day logging in and you know you do get a i don't remember exactly how many it is but if you start saving up your points you can start getting some free mystery uh, elite mystery boxes basically a couple changes to the teleport interface i added a arduin market teleport uh if you're on ancients there's no way to get to arty other than the fishing guild teleport so i figured i would just add one more um market made sense and then I also fixed the uh, massive cow boss. It used to just teleport you into the void. Now it teleports you to the massive cow. Just, just do a little double check and shout out to some extinct. So then the last things we have, I lowered the vanguard's defenses. These are a monster that are found in the chambers of Zarek. So if you do that, you should uh, hopefully be able to kill those a lot easier. It's, it was halved all, all, uh, all stages. The uh, all re leftover thingies from the uh, Halloween event have been removed, such as the uh, opening message, and I believe you got a free pumpkin every time you open a group loot chest that is now gone. Added a couple easy Slayer Task uh, commands, such as colon colon monkey, colon colon bird, and colon colon bear, which just takes you to train. But just figured um, it would help you know noobs out. That's basically the logic. I started a new account, and so I'm sort of like coming up with new ideas that would, would help the early game for players. That's where a lot of these uh, the inspiration for a lot of these changes. And then the last thing is you can now disassemble stews and jambalaya for organic and uber components, and you can also disassemble prayer scrolls such as like the arcane decks and the torn prayer scroll. 
and those will give you spiritual and uber the link in the description below will have everything in written form if you want to read over again but uh that'll do it thanks for watching Hope you guys enjoyed there will be a classic update probably tomorrow so if you are a classic player look forward to that